Hello everyone, JJ here, and today I'm going to show you how to build a simple hovercraft in Space Engineers. So, um, what you need to build this is you will need some sort of wheel suspension, some sort of wheel, some sort of thrust, some sort of control block, and some sort of power source. Along with that, I recommend having some light armor blocks and some landing gear as temporary blocks. Along with that, I will be creating in this video a cargo transport hovercraft for which I will need a medium cargo container, a connector, um, and I want to arm it, and I may add in a remote control. Along with that, I will need an antenna, and that is all you will need to build a basic um, hovercraft. To start off, we will place down a landing gear to just build off of. Then we will pillar up five blocks and place our um, cockpit block. For this, I will be using the regular cockpit. However, you could use any cockpit. Then, because I'm building a cargo vessel, I'm going to add in a medium cargo container, but I'll add in two of them because it doesn't really matter how many you have. And along with that, I will need a connector to offload the vehicle. So this is the basic skeleton, and now for the actual functional parts. We are going to grab our wheel suspension, and it does have to be wheel suspension, and we will place it in here. Oh no, we won't, well actually, wait. We will place in a light armor block here, and here. I will plug in my device real quick. And then we will place in our wheel suspension there. Um, rotate it, place one in there. Then we'll need more light armor blocks. And then we'll place the wheel suspensions. At this point, it's up to you what armoring you want to add. I will, real quick, add in the main gun of the vehicle, which we will place there. Um, and then I want to place in the... Wait, no. Uh, never mind. We'll, we'll actually move the main gun forward. Just so we have this rear space to play with. Which I will use. Then we will add in our antenna. And I will want a remote control block. But you do not need the remote control block or the antenna. These are just optional things that I'm currently adding on. And I am going to add in... This is slightly less optional, as it can be a hazard not having this, we will add in a gyroscope. This will aid you if you ever happen to uh, take a little bit of a tumble. Now that we've added all this, our hovercraft is nearly complete. We just have a few more things that we need. We will need forward and reverse thrust, and side to side thrust. The only real thrust type we need will be the uh, the forward thrust. So we will add that in. And then for side to side thrust, I w well, for reverse thrust, first of all, I want to add in that, for which we'll once again have two thrusters. And. We'll add in the thrust here, along with some side-to-side -side thrust, which we will be able to place with the aid of some blocks. There, and we'll do the same on the other side, and then we can set up the vehicle.
now that we have these basic things, you are ready to get traveling, except for the batteries. So you can use small or large. Um, we will actually be placing in the batteries on the sides. So I will be removing what I've already built there in order to fit in two batteries. However, you can truly build this however you want. It is fully up to you what you want it to look like. So side to side thrust wise, I want um, two thrusters in each direction I'm going to add in. Um, however, you only really need one. And now that we have these thrusters in place, we are technically ready to begin setting this up for travel. Now, before that, what we are going to do real quick is... I'm in creative, um, however, this will be more difficult in survival. In creative, you can just do that. Boom. And now your vehicle is technically operational. Now, I would armor this up before I use it. Just, I would do so. However, it is not necessary. So, we are going to get into the seat. Hit K to open this. We are going to grab the off-road wheel suspension. Toggle off everything here. Steering, brake, air shock, everything, and make a um, bottom wheels group, and don't show that in terminal. Then we are going to use. Then we are going to toggle on. Uh, we'll grab the backward thrust and do rev thrust save. Don't show in terminal. And then, we grab all our other thrusters, make just a thrust group, save, and don't show a terminal to clear up space. Remote control, do as you wish with that, you will have to do your own things with that as well. And now we hit G, we start off going to groups, go bottom wheels, and you are going to do, you need to set this to increase and decrease friction. And then, that. Then I recommend you make a group of your batteries. And then set that here to uh, recharge on off. And then you're going to go thrust, toggle block on, off, and here reverse thrust, rev thrust on off. Then in all blocks, this is where it's optional. We are going to actually take the antenna and leave it out. Normally I would put it in for stealth, but I don't want to for this. We're actually going to put the auto can, uh, auto cannon and set it to control. Now we are nearly ready to go to begin driving. This is just how I would set up the hot part, but to begin driving, you want to hit um, whatever button decreases wheel friction. And then you just want to slide around a bit. This is not the best of vehicles, and I will show you how you can make it safer in just a second. So now we can hit F, um, but I do recommend just bringing up that wheel friction to not damage it in any way. We are going to add in some light armor, just some regular blocks all around so that we can add in some bumpers because we don't want to hit anything and just break the vehicle. So I'm just adding in some bumpers in the form of light armor to support the actual bumpers and then that's where these wheels come in. We're going to set them to one by one wheels and you're just going to throw them on to the vehicle like this. We'll put two up front. Now, actually, I'm going to move the bumper system down by one, as that will protect a bit more. And you'll be—you'll just need to be careful with the rear bumper, as you, with the connector, you can't really do that much there. However, it will not take long. Now, as you can see, we can here now. We can't place a block there, so we will for this front section do it like that, and then we'll. 
Hey, you know, screw it. We're just gonna do it on top. That was a waste of time to take that down. But you just want to add in these bumpers. They will help greatly. Once you've added in the armor, you'll just take this, throw on some wheels. Look at the rear setup. For which we'll have four in that position. And then for each side, I recommend you have like four. Just protect your batteries. You don't want those to die. If they go, you can't move the ship anymore or do anything with it. Um, you can even put some bumpers on the bottom if you want. But now we have a technically fully functional um, hovercraft with a gun. So we are going to take this. Hop on in, and we're going to take it for a spin. We're going to lower the friction, turn off our forward system so we can have dampeners on. Now, you will want to hit G, uh, I mean K, to open this. Go to the gyroscope and make sure its power is set to 100. Then you'll need to move around a bit to make sure you're not stuck on any damaged areas. But we are going to gun it in this direction and I will show you how valuable this can be in early game movement. All you need to be careful of is that you keep level to the ground. And as long as you have enough thrust in a certain direction... And as long as you're a careful driver, I definitely overshot that. Um, and this wasn't the best vehicle, so I will show you a better vehicle to build. If you really do want to survive this. That will be down here. The vehicle I spawned on, which also showcases everything there. This guy. This is a survival rover rework, using only what you have, or can easily build with stone to construct we'll hit five to not be slow actually we'll turn on the reverse thrust as it will slow us down hopefully preventing us from dying every hit so this one You see, as long as you are not too rough of a driver, you should be able to take it for a ride. And one difference here is this rover is a lot wider, so you've got less chance of hitting your side. Um, this one actually has taken damage. But, you do. Need, I recommend you make wide hovercrafts, and that will be it for this video. So, uh, goodbye. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Um, and I'm going to real quick. And I've crashed.